Hello everyone, welcome back. Ties of change, of course. Ties of change, of course. And yes. we just had to this a grander ceremony just now, and mm -hmm. as a promise, we are going to board we are going to be boarding one of the fishing one of the vessels. Big vessels, yeah. Yes. And uh, particularly we're gonna have the opportunity to satisfy some of your queries. Who wanted to know about fishermen here in China? So How we are yeah. out here by the mm -hmm. fishing boats and uh -huh. uh, we're gonna have the rare opportunity to interact with some fishermen yeah. and talk about well what is it like to fish out here. Yeah so and it's we have Robert's, a special guest. Right? Yeah, of yeah course, Robert we're have from a Canada guest. was it? Yeah, Robert right. from Canada <laughs> and I hope that Robert from Canada is still here uh -huh. with us and today we would like to start it's actually pick it up pick it up from here mm -hmm. and this is actually the fish report okay. and as you can see over there you can see colorful flags over there that could the start of the second round of the fishing season here and this is September mid September already right mm -hmm. and so today I'm pretty sure that many of viewers as you said should be very interested in the lives of a fishman in China, right? Yeah, and for today, me. of course, we are pleased, so pleased to be joined yeah. by a fishman here, Mr. Chen. Mr. Chen, welcome to our program. Ni hao. Ni hao, ni hao. This is Gao Fei, Mr. Chen. Gao Fei. Would you like to say hi to our viewers? Give us our whole world's welcome. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Mr. Chen apparently is a little bit shy. Yeah. Uh, uh, Chen, we want to understand if you are normal today, right? Yes. First, the first one. How do you feel at this point, right? Yeah, So everyone is expecting this, of course. So this is the most important season here in the coastal city. Yeah. Ah, so they could only make some money in this uh, month, you know, this is the mm -hmm. start of it. So it's going to be a couple of months. We'd like to show us your ship over here. We can go to the ship and see if we can see the ship. Okay. Wow, this is a giant ship. I've been on uh, a fishing vessel before, but it was a much smaller. Also in East China and Northeast China, but this one is so. This one is much bigger, right? Yeah. This, this, this ship is quite big, but its capacity is quite small. This, this ship is quite big, but its capacity is quite small. Ah. This, this, this ship is quite big, but its capacity is quite small. Ah. This, this, this ship is quite big, but its capacity is quite small. Ah. This, this, this ship is quite big, but its capacity is quite small. Ah. This, this, this ship is quite big, but its capacity is quite small. Ah. This, this, this ship is quite big, but its capacity is quite small. Ah. There's no plank now. <laughs> yeah, because they are about to sail off pretty soon in about 25 minutes time. Okay. So it is pretty last minute we have to say at this point. And then we really hope that we can climb the stairs <laughs> into, the, into the vessel over here. But we can't, but probably we can see it from here. Okay. okay. I have a couple of questions. Uh, what are some uh, of the preparations before uh, sailing out? That's good. 就是我们在出海之前都要做什么样的准备呢？我们已经好几个月没出海了吧？对啊，我们是之前问是保养船、保养车子啊，新网搞下来，什么东西搞一下啊。现在要叫来这样，不是虽然三个月一直在开，一直在忙，在做做准备，因为一年战机在。Wow, so they have to service the ship and the nets and everything to get to ready. So though they haven't been fishing, you know, for a couple of months already, but they have been preparing big time just for this very big day. And what are they doing at this point? I'm saying that this is what kind of a ceremony? It's like they're washing the ship. Yeah, this Oh, so it is like they are sprinkling water just now. So it's very much like another offering. Oh, yeah. Just praying for good luck and good catch, loaded with fish. How long will they be out there for? 一般我们出海要多长时间啊？我也是想问这个问题。一般啊，这个也靠看船的作业方式啊。一般长的嘛，一个月、两个月也。Uh, okay, so it could be a couple of months, one month or two, but the shortest one could be a week. You know the fish, like the longer ones. Okay, big catch, basically. Big catch in the fall. How many people are on board? 
我们一般一个船上有多少船员呢 ？How many sailors we have？ 一般一般我们带自己老大九个来。啊、ah, ，nine people together、okay.。老大的话就是我们叫 boss 是吗？老大，您是船老大啊？对啊，您是船老大啊。So he is basically like the captain. The boss. Okay, so so probably eight sailors. 有八个这个啊，水手啊啊，有八个水手一样的是吧？一次能打多少鱼？一次吧，一般吧，人家的也多多少少也不一定啊，最多一万斤左右的。一万斤啊，一万斤 ，that is around five thousand kg of fish. That can be caught. Yeah, at any one time. For each catch, is one time catch one fish. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, usually we have four catches. Yeah, yeah. 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 四五千箱 ，four thousand to five thousand containers. Wow,、oh、my God! Like how big is that one container, right?、Yeah. I'm wondering, 一个箱子大概多大呀？一个箱子像一般到四四斤左右。四斤，四十斤，哦 ，twenty kg. So that is not too big. So four thousand containers, right? Jin is jin jin. One jin is around five、uh, hundred. No, no, no. Let me see. It is.、Uh, two jin is one kilo. If you say jin, then you have to divide this by two, and that is one kilo. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Sorry, I was mistaken. Ah,、uh, <laughs> okay. That is so interesting. Thank you so much. Very thank you. 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 Thank A huge fishing boat, and then from there we're gonna have a live stream、yes. of all of other fishing vessels just sailing off all at once. Wow, that is gonna be amazing, and it's gonna. So now it's 10:40 Beijing time, and、mm -hmm. we have probably around 10 minutes time to catch that boat. We don't want to miss that boat. <laughs> yeah, let's go first. We are on someone else's clock. Yeah. <laughs> Then we need to go that way, right? Yep. Okay. So, because this is the start of this fishing season, and there will be tons of people over here, so the streets are fraught with cars, <laughs> vehicles. <laughs> well,、um, I would like to check with Robert to see、uh, uh, if he had any other questions. So, if we cover some of the things that he would like、oh, to know. Oh, that's true. <laughs> so. When we bought the ship, when we bought that huge fishing ship, yeah, and then we're gonna see if we, you have, you guys have got any questions for us, yeah. And for now, if you have just joined us, this is CGTN. We're broadcasting live in the eastern Chinese city of Xiangshan, uh huh. And this is the start of this fishing season, uh huh. And we just had this grand ceremony, yeah. And also went to a fishing vessel, but. Really, really, I wish we could board one of the fishing vessels, but now it is really difficult. They are, everyone is getting ready they're, they're to busy, sail off.、Right? Yeah, it's too busy, and we are also really busy. We're running, basically, <laughs> to catch that boat.、Uh, wow! And this is the、uh, coastal line of this city. It is really long, actually. There would be. Do you know how many fishing vessels they have in this small city alone? Mm, thousands, I heard. Thousands, two thousand and eight hundred. Wow. <laughs> Who do you think? <laughs> Let me. This. Yeah,、place. just just like this space. So this is a small county. It's、uh -huh. basically a small town. There were tons of tourists at this point, as you can see in the camera, <laughs>、yeah. walking that way because. Uh, behind us, there will be at the plaza. There will be a grand ceremony,、uh -huh. another one, but it's a little bit different from the one that we had just now. There's there is a lot of attention. A lot of、uh -huh. people actually come here to see this、uh -huh. this visual because it's really fantastic to see thousands of ships going out to sea at the same time.、Uh, uh -huh. It's the first time for me to see something like this. Do you this. have something like that in your country? No, no, we have. Uh, uh huh. 
we don't have something this large, so people go out to see in uh -huh. smaller numbers. So uh -huh. something in the thousands is uh -huh. going to be something amazing to witness. So don't go anywhere because that is going to be spectacular. I, I, I can't imagine what that looks like, what that sounds like, you know? Yeah, <laughs> like thousands of them, 2,800 vessels all together. Of course, as I said, this is the second round of this uh, fishing season. So. Many ships actually, they start is around August. I know you're going to have this question. How come they have two yeah. fishing seasons? <laughs> Why? How come some ships could go out to fish earlier? Why some, than why some ships get a, a head start? Yeah. yeah, of course. And we'll have those questions. I guess throw that question out of guest on the ship later, pretty soon. Wow, there are so many people today. And of course, because this is a big ceremony already, this is a very small town. And it's a big event actually for a place like this. So they have blocked this road along the coastline yep. so that they can have this grand ceremony so that everything will go smoothly. And then you don't see many tra you don't see many cars, not much traffic actually at this actually, point. Actually at the back we saw some uh -huh. stands where people actually sit down and can actually see all the vessels go yeah. out to sea, which is it has to be a fantastic sight. I'm really excited about this today. I can't wait to see them go out to sea. It's, I mean, if it's exciting for me, I can't imagine what it feels like for the fishermen. Yeah, yeah hey, we get to fish. <laughs> Finally, it's like, as we, uh, we talked to them just now, saw him, Mr. Chen, just now, and they have been preparing for mouth actually, for this very day, that they're gonna, you know, have a great catch and they're gonna make some money. So because this is a fishing town mm -hmm. so everyone almost everyone every household is reliant on the fishing industry here and also china is actually the largest literally the largest consumer of seafood in the world wow do you know the percentage 30. china actually <laughs> consumes 45 percent of the world's seafood wow <laughs> <laughs> Well, the large number of people here would account for that, I guess. Yeah, and actually it has been increasing back in the uh, 1960s. If we, if we look at, if we put it in the uh, global context, when it comes to the world's population, actually, back in the 1990s, yeah. you know, the consumption of seafood jumped from around 12 kg per person a day, uh, per year, a year, per year to 36 kg per year for each person. What's the explanation? Yeah, because we are, we have modern technologies properly and ah, we have okay. more, we have bigger catches or something. And that is why, and people have realized because the protein provided by the marine animals, yeah, is more it's a, abandoned it's a better and it could be healthier because it is low in fat. Mm -hmm. Right? It's, got, it's got better fats or more yeah. beneficial fats. Yeah. Beneficial I have a question. Fat. To connect it to the idea of types of change, mm -hmm. I would be interesting to, interested to know uh -huh. how fishing and the fishing industry has changed over time mm -hmm. in Southeast Asia, in Southeast China, sorry. In um, China. It's something that I would like to ask once we get on, on, on board the ship to, to get a better picture of some of the modernization, mm -hmm. some of the changes, some of the revamping of let's fishing. move on to the platform all right okay let's move on to the platform so that we can have more view a closer of the view ships. yeah i think you have uh, raised a very interesting question when it comes to the modernization of fishing industry in china and one thing is the uh, technology and the technology the fishing technology has been advancing in china look at the ships now if we turn the camera yeah we can see more fishing vessels but in the past they used to be like dinghies like the fishing boats and tiny ones yeah but now everything you see uh now it's just more technology involved so they're using motor and everything what i see and that's also, quite interesting uh, yeah. is the size is very similar most of them are of a very Uniform, similar size right? yeah. yeah like a standardized size that can actually go out and do this uh, yeah. fishing. Which and this is, is the second season of Tides of Change. In the first season, we went to South China Sea. And also, uh, we would like to visit. Ah, uh, OK. That's interesting. So well, this is the second season, season already, right? And then so we went through this. Uh, we went to the South China Sea in the first season once again. And now for the second season, 
we would like to focus on the East China Sea. Okay. When it comes to the East China Sea, actually, in the past, in the Chinese history, and in these areas, the uh, shipbuilding and the repair industry were actually quite advanced. Yeah. So when it comes to ships like that, I mean, the standardization actually is not a problem in China. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you asked me this question about the change of China's fish industry. The second thing is the strict, very stringent fishing ban. That is why we are here, because the fishing ban has been lifted just now. Yeah, that's yeah. interesting to see. Do you because have a lot this of people... fishing ban thing in your country? Well, uh, we do have fishing oh, bans, but they're not, uh, they're not always followed. So for me, it's uh -huh. interesting to see when you consider, well, China, a uh -huh. large consumer of fishing products, uh, uh -huh. to, to see that it is actually being enforced in a way that uh -huh. is beneficial for the sea animals, the sea and uh, the industry itself. I mean, if you overfish, there's uh -huh. no industry. So to make sure that the industry survives, mm -hmm. it's got to be regulated. So I really, really appreciate what they do. Mm -hmm. Especially uh, China have raised this uh question of fishing ban in the international waters or the international seas, you know? Yeah. Yeah, just to make sure that the resources can be sustainable. Yeah. So it's interesting to see how far out do they go, but that's a question that maybe we can ask to the, uh -huh. to the fishermen. Yeah, we we'll ask them the question. Now, here we are, finally. <laughs> We're basically running yeah. to catch this boat. <laughs> Getting my boat, steps on my yeah. Fitbit. <laughs> and I said earlier that we should catch this boat at 10.50. And now we have two minutes to go. We've got like a few seconds Hi. to spare. Hello. Hello. Hi. Permission to come aboard. Yes. And we are about to board the ship. It is not really big. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, it's, it's more agile, of course. Uh -huh. And so then we can see what will happen pretty soon, right? Now let's pull the ship. All right. Oh, we had this ship, actually. I was once on one of the ships like this. Uh-huh. Let's be careful. Let's go over there. This is amazing. Wow. Finally. Well, we made it on board and we're uh, time right to spare. On, right yeah. on time, right on time. <laughs> okay, it? let's start with something very basic. Uh -huh. Are you familiar with the different sides of the ship? Oh, that is very interesting. Uh, <laughs> I think this is, uh, what do we call it? A stern. This is the, the stern. Uh -huh. That's the, I can't remember. <laughs> that is the right side of a boat. Right side <laughs> of a boat. It's not <laughs> What's the issue? Why is it not called the, the right side or the left side? I mean, for those of you watching, do you know, if I'm going that way, I say, to your right, and he's coming that way, he's going to go to my left. So they use different names so that we all understand which way to go. Uh -huh. So if I say, to your right, then it's not going to work. That's why. But for somebody who doesn't have really uh, sea legs, uh -huh. this kind of language is not very familiar. Yeah, not <laughs> really, actually. They have the terminologies and later we'll be joined by our guest and then we'll be talking about like the terminologies you mentioned yeah and of course now we're leaving this stock pretty soon <laughs> finally and of course as i said as let's see what they have uh on cgt and the social media platforms okay i just hope that the internet would hold because we're gonna go into the sea as they to were see praying what happens to the there. gods of uh, the yeah. sea we should pray to the gods of internet <laughs> that's right and this is one of the vessels the fishing vessels actually that will leave earlier mm -hmm. so that we're gonna see we have this panoramic view of what is happening and there's behind so us yeah behind us so wow. many ships leaving the port all together at one That is going to be point. an amazing view, guys, so you don't want to miss that. Stay with us, because to see thousands of ships coming all out to sea at the same time is going to be absolutely fantastic. And I, for one, am delighted to be here and have this opportunity. Uh -huh. Actually, the internet is not that... It's not perfect, though. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah, but anyway... We would like you to interact with us, to ask questions, comment, like, and uh, follow us on this Tides of Change Season 2 and uh, whichever season comes next. Really interesting to see China from a different perspective and we are moving. We are going out to sea right now. 
Now we're moving at this point. All right. Wow. Well, I'd like to hold something. <laughs> I'd like to hold something later. It's gonna be fast. <laughs> wow. If we turn the camera around, I think the ship will turn around, yeah. right? And then we're gonna see the uh, fishing vessels docking there. I like how they all wear, they all have these flags on top. They're not necessarily the, the country's flag, they're just the event's flag, the celebration of the opening of the fishing season. Yep. It's really important for this town, really important for the fishermen, and uh, they take it, they take it to heart. You can also see the yellow flag. Okay, here we go, picking up speed. Ships lined up now yeah. at the port. Now we're leaving. We have to leave first. And thank goodness that we caught this ship, the boat, yeah. right on time. Otherwise, we would be standing there. Wait, wait for me. On the promenade. <laughs> and of course, for those who have just joined us, this is CGTN. And then, so, oh, we need to wear this. Uh, Flotation Jacket devices, of course, safety first. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, amazing. Hold on a second. Okay, now we are safe, I think. Let's turn the camera around now. We have put on the jackets. Yep. Okay. And now we're moving all the way to the sea. And all of those ships, as you can see right now, are waiting for the gun. Wow. <laughs> and then they would be sailing off all at once. It Around 1,000 of them, I guess. It has a race feeling, you know, like, go! And they all race out to sea. Ah. And of course, if you have any questions, please leave your comments down there. And in the meantime, we will have a guest joining us today. Yeah. You have tons of questions, Goffe, I know. <laughs> but some of the questions, I really don't know the answers. Well, it's good that we have an expert with us that can help, that can yeah. help us figure it out. Uh, so, and we have got some comments on Facebook. That is uh, Raman Last Singh, I think from India. Oh, hold on. And then very good is very good for fishing collectors, for fish collectors. <laughs> and of course, I would like to call out Robert again from Canada. You are a fisherman. And yeah. then I'm pretty sure that you have tons of questions over here. And today we are pleased to be joined by Mr. Xu. Ni hao, Xu. Ni hao, ni hao. This is Mr. Xu. Would you like to say hi to our viewers around the world? Do you speak English? Ni shuan yong yu ma? Okay, then I'm going to do the translation for you. You're going to carry this video. For our viewers. Would you like to say hi? Okay. And we have tons of questions. You can start with the first one. Well, the first one has to do with the the amount of ships that actually go out to sea. Ah. Is it uh, growing year on year or ah. is it stable pretty much over time? We have a lot of ships that are out there. How many ships are out there? How many ships are out there? This year, the ships are out there. 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 But in 8th of April, we have a lot of ships out there. The ships are out there. Well, for this round, so that is around 1,300 ships of fishing vessels going out. Okay. And for the first round, as I said just now, mm -hmm. uh, in August, there were some going out already. All together, there were around 2,800 fishing vessels. We've been talking about this question, so this is the time to ask it. Why are there different dates? Why do different uh, ships go at different times? Yeah, that's just a very interesting question, right? Mm -hmm. I, Actually, in different regions, they have different policies. Mm -hmm. And here in the East China Sea, specifically in Xiangshan, they have two rounds of uh, the fishing seasons here. Why是我们有一些船可以发一份就直接可以先走了？呃，这个的话是针对它不同渔船的话有不同的那个作业方式啊。呃，那个那不同的作业方式呢，是因为它的资源的那个损害性不一样。哦，就是比如说它对资源损
and then they would start later. Ah, okay. 拖网的一般就会慢一些，晚一些才出海，是吧？单拖、双拖这种的话就要等到几个小时。啊 ，so single trawler, they call it single trawling. They have the trawling nets, single trawling nets or double trawling nets. Okay. And then they will usually start in September. Okay. Um, And、uh, what kind of、uh, preparations do they make as the China Fisheries Law Enforcement? We usually say, "What kind of preparations do they make?" Is it for these four months? Uh, for these four months, for us, for the fisheries, it is a very good time. It is the time of the fish to be fed. Ah, so this is the spawning period for the fish. Ah, okay. Ah, for the during the period of the fishing ban, of course. 这一般来说，我们就是有禁渔期的时候，都是他们产卵繁殖的时候，是吧？对。啊、uh, ，So during the fishing ban, that's the spawning period for the fish, so that they they would be, you know, abandoned fishing resources sure, sure, after sure. the fishing ban is lifted. So these are decisions made、uh, based on science, basically. Yeah, based on science, of course. All right. 我们的禁渔期 ，I have this question. 我们在这边的禁渔期是从什么时候开始？呃，我们浙江东海海域的话。全面禁渔的话是从五月一号开始。五月一号开始 ，OK， May the first， that's the day when the fishing ban starts。就是我们是从几几年的时候开始的呢？这项禁渔政策。呃，这个的话应该已经有二十多年了吧？二十多年 ，around twenty years already。Yeah. So remember the grand ceremony at the beginning。That has been through twenty four years already。Yeah. Um, what about the the technical challenges that、uh, the trawlers may have out to sea? How do they do they go and fill up the storage and then come back, or is there any kind of offloading their catch to、uh, to a transporting vessel? Yeah. 就是一般来说，我们出海出去之后，他们还回来吗？还是我们有一些叫运输船，然后这些运输船把货物运回来呢？呃，这个渔船的话，它根据它。不同的那个捕捞的方式，呃，有不同的那个在外生产的时间，呃，有的嘛一个礼拜回来，有的嘛一两个月回来都有。Oh, so that depends. Yeah, as we、uh, we talk to the、uh, fishermen just now, right? So sometimes it's around one to two weeks for their work for their for one round. For for some, that is around one to two months. So if it's too long, they have the transporting. Vessels, it's like a floating market, as you said. Oh, so basically they resupply, they、uh, they can they get the fish transported、uh, into this transporting vessel. Yeah. And、uh, do they get supplies as well? Is it like、uh, water, fuel, food? Yeah, that's out, a out of that's a good question. 就一般来说，这个船他们是怎么补给的呢？是他们把货物卖给了这个运输船，运输船再卖给他们补给。那如果说这个渔船出去时间比较久的话，啊，那它船上的物资的话是通过我们那个渔业辅助船运送过去。啊、那包括它船上渔货物，也是通过这个辅助船把它给运回来。哦、啊啊、，Yeah, I think we、uh, made the、uh, good guess already. Good assumption. So yeah, yeah, because if you're gonna take fish, you might bring supplies as well. So in exchange, they're gonna have some supplies. Some of the fish,、uh, fishing vessels are going out already. This is already out of the sea. 呃，这个的话，因为我可能今天这个仪式取消了，他可能是回到原来的毛博地方去了。啊，他们把这个仪式仪式取消了是吧？因为真叫这个仪式的是吧？因为今天的话，本来是十二点可以开了啊，但是因为那个台风影响还在啊，所以考虑到安全的话，呃，今天的话渔船还是先不要出去。哦、啊、，So the fishing vessels are now going out today. Yeah, because of the typhoon. We talk about the typhoon. What、ah, the shame? Okay, okay. okay. So many of the、uh, fishing vessels will be docked at the.、Uh, At the shore. 那他们今天我们是还有一些其他的仪式是吧？对，一些还有一些什么样？就仪式是正常的，然后也会出去，但是他们会回来是吧？那没有，今天全的话就是他们就不出去。Oh, OK， 其他的仪式的话还是有的。Oh, so they have the ceremony, you know, they have this opening ceremony that will remain the same, but the fishing vessels are not going out to the sea because the typhoon,、oh, okay. the typhoon just left. Yeah, true. I mean, 台风的话，其实对我们整个海边的这边的。生活经济影响还是比较大的，是吧？对对,对。How long have you been? How long have you been? Uh, you are the guard. Do you call yourself like the guardian? Well, the basically、uh, law enforcement.、Uh, law enforcement, enforcement, like uh, police, right? Yeah. Law enforcement, police. 就您做这行有多久了？呃，我已经今年是第六年了。第六年了。哦、oh, ，It's been six years already. 嗯哼。啊。
And uh, what are some of the Stories most interesting experiences you share yeah. with us? I really, <laughs> wanna, seen. I really want to sit over here. Oh, we could, but then he's too tall. Uh. <laughs> what are some of the, the experiences that he can recall? Some stories uh, that might be of interest for our viewers. Uh, 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 how long how long do they go out to sea, the the oh. fisheries law enforcement boats? They're way smaller, so I think they don't go out for that long. Uh, 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 that is like twenty-four seconds. Yeah, because they are basically the law enforcement police on the they sea. They can't take rest. So they can't take rest, but they will take turns, I think. They have sure. this road for So one, one ship would go uh, out for how long, more or less? Uh, 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 yeah. uh, uh, one ship is uh, uh, one ship. One ship is one Oh, that's like a week long. Okay. Can you share with us some of your personal stories? If we may, yeah, yeah, 跟我们分享一下，就是您刚才说的，像我们船员的一些故事。啊、uh, uh, ，就是我们船上有一个那个大副，啊、uh, ，呃，就是有一次他还因为生病嘛， uh, 他在打吊针，啊、uh, ，但是遇到了紧急的那个出航任务，啊、uh, ，那他就果断的就打吊针打到一半就提前出海去。He was basically hospitalized, but they have to go. One of the stories, 有没有什么惊险的一些，包括包括我们碰到一些什么渔船啊，受到了一些可能搁浅了之类啊，或者是受损了。So I'm, I was、uh, really interested in some adventurous stories. You know, some probably some of the fishing fishing vessels, they are kind of. Like destroy the dent, you know, the ship, and then,、yeah. and then you go out to help them. 有没有一些什么惊险的那些故事呢？呃，那我刚才说的这个事情啊，啊其实他也是出去抢险救灾去的。啊，因为我们这个渔政船还有一个职能就是，呃，抢险救灾的职能，就是，比如说渔民在海上遇到了什么突发的危险的紧急情况，啊，我们的话，呃，就是可以去救助他们。啊，渔民的话在海上经常会有那个磕碰，包括渔船搁浅。嗯做事故的话，那我们都是可以第一时间出去，嗯，对他们进行救助。Okay. 这也是为什么我们要二十四小时待命的原因。Okay, so that's basically that is actually not an adventurous story for them. That is like their daily life, their daily job. That is what they do. To know some of the、uh, rules and regulations that the fishermen have in terms of what species they can、uh, uh, fish、yeah. or areas or. What kind of regulations are there for them? Because their enforcement, so it's got some rules that they have to、uh, enforce. Yeah, 就是我们有一些这样的规章制度啊，例如他哪些地方可以去，哪些地方不能去的，然后我们是怎么样去做这些执法的行动的呢 ？Wow, they tied together like、yeah. a catamaran. 这两个船是绑在一起了。对，他们是一对双拖渔船，就是一起生产的。啊、ah, ，so this is what they call a double trawler. So they work together. Wow. Nice. So they have this trolling net, I think, and、uh-huh. then they walk around. Two of them, I think, at one point they will be separated, and then they circle this area、yeah. with the trolling nets, and then they are tied together once again, and then、wow. they trawl through the sea for miles. Yeah, but the stuff. Look,、wow. you saw the double trawler. There are so the many of them. How many are there? 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 作业类型来啊，它这个船的话，作业类型就是双拖作业。Okay, so that is on their certificates. So if they said it's like a double trawler, and、oh, then so they sign up to be double trawlers. Yeah. All right. So、uh, back to the regulations, because I think that a lot of people are interested to know.、Uh, apart from just the fishing ban, 
what other what other things that they have to look out for? 啊，就是我们有这个平时的时候是不能打鱼的，是吧？那像我们平时有一些什么样的管理啊，然后能够让这些人去守这个我们打鱼的规矩呢？呃，那我们是渔业渔业那个生产的话是有一个伏期休渔期的。嗯。伏期休渔期的时候的话是所有渔船都不能出去生产的。啊、嗯。那开渔之后啦，啊、嗯，特别是这次九月十六号全面开渔之后。那所有的渔船在那个海况海况允许，它渔船自身那个硬件条件符合、全员适配的情况下，都是可以出去生产的。Okay. 但是呢，针对不同的作业船只，它有不同的作业类型。Okay. 像刚才我们看到那个双拖渔船的话， uh, 它就是需要在那个底拖网作业作业的那个禁渔区间外面去生产。Okay, so during the fishing ban, so no fishing vessels are allowed to go out to fish. And now this is September the 16th already, so that is a comprehensive opening of、yeah. the fishing season, the start of it. And、yeah. then all the fishing vessels are allowed. Yeah, basically.、Um, I'm, 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 in, I'm wondering, like, what kind of punishment that all the fishermen would face if they violate the law and the regulations, right? I think it would be a little bit complicated to move something that big without being noticed. So、uh, I would, don't. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't move them, but it is. Yeah, of course, it is、uh, noticeable if you are doing something illegal. 如果要是相当于在禁渔期，或者是不是到我的这个时候能出船的时候，我去打鱼了，会有什么样的一些惩罚吗？是罚钱还是怎么样？呃、uh,。那如果他在禁渔期之间出去生产的话啊，那从我们渔业法的角度来说的话，肯定是要进行一个处罚的。啊，如果他呃涉嫌了一些那个刑事，呃构成了刑事的话，也是需要移交那个司法部门进行处理。哇哦 ，So basically they're gonna face the music, of course. Okay. So they're gonna have some fine. I mean, for some minor, probably. Violations, but when it comes to some criminal violations, then they would face the justice system. All right. So it is quite severe. I mean, the stringent measures have been taken in China, probably over 20 or 30 years ago, to be honest. And then all of the、uh, fishing vessels are now to go, are not allowed to go out to fish during the fishing ban season, the period. And then, so it's going to be something quite serious. Very severe punishment. I was interested、uh, to learn a little bit more about the importance of this particular area、uh, in the fishing industry.、Um, what percentage of the consumption of the catch nationally does this town represent? Do these ships represent? You mean how, like the percentage of the、yeah. fishing vessels in this region in the context of China as a whole? Correct. 就是我们这边的渔船，这个渔业占中国大概有多少啊？我们有两千八百艘船，是吧？啊，对，啊，那我们所有渔船的话，啊，呃，全省的话应该有前三这样的数量。千张。全省。全省。啊，就前三这样。前三 ，top three in this province alone, but not、wow. in China. Okay. Yeah, it is not only here, but you know, it is very well known、uh, and advanced when it comes to its fishing industry here in East China Sea. Uh, either it is about the shipbuilding industry or the ship repair industry、uh, in East China Sea. But if we look at the South China Sea and also the Yellow Sea and the Bohai Sea area in Northern China, and they have tons of fishing vessels, but not as big as the fishing vessels we see in the camera at this point. Yeah. Yeah. What about、um, uh. the? People who work on the ships, on the vessels,、uh, where do they come from? Are they all local, or is there a migration of people who come to to this town to employ themselves as fishermen? Our the 渔民都是当地人吗？还有包括我们工作人员都是当地人吗？呃，渔民的话，呃，当地人是一部分，外面来的人也有很多，因为他们通过那个全员培训的话，合格的话，外面人多吗？呃，外面人现在的话也挺多的。啊，就是因为它一条船上的话是需要配好多人的，不是单单船上这种。So some of them are locals, some of them are immigrants from other provinces and regions. He was mentioning something about and training. And it is growing, yeah. He also talk about like training. So with some training, and then you can be a sailor. So there is an increasing number of immigrants coming over to this area to do the job. I think、uh, it's.、Uh, 
I'm I don't know if that is a lucrative job. Okay. Yeah. 他这个如果作为一个渔民的话，刚刚我们也是问了采访了一位渔民，然后他这个工作挣钱是比较多的，是吗？所以好多人都过来。Uh, 对，这个渔民的话，他那个工作也比较辛苦。那、嗯、那相相对来说，他的收入的话也就。Ah,、uh, you know, it's a top job, and the pay is actually higher. Oh, really? Yeah, compared with some other some menu job, of course.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. What is the minimum age for a fisherman? A fisherman. 一般最最小的年纪的话，大概要多大才能当一个渔民啊？呃、uh, ，按照那个要求来说的话，他们他们十八周岁。Eighteen years old. Eighteen years old. Eighteen years old, according to the law. Yeah, in China, it should be the minimum age is supposed to be eighteen. When you become a fisherman, ah, 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 ah
。然后这些船的话，就是已经开出来了，是吗？呃，这些船本来的话，如果那个不受台风影响的话，啊、嗯，他们这批船就是十二点左右就统一出去了。Okay, so if there were no the、uh, you know the aftermath of the typhoon, yeah, and they should be all of the sea at this point, over the air. yeah, and then they will be sailing that way. 然后就往这边跑了，是吧？那我们什么时候他们会能够出海呢？这个的话要根据那个省里防止对那个台风情报解除了的话，那、uh, 他这个船就可以出去了。Okay, so it is still under the influence of typhoon, though it is gone. It's a little bit windy, I have to say today. Quite windy, yeah. Yeah, always because we are on the sea at this point. And then, so probably that depends. Probably tomorrow, and then we need to wait until the alert for typhoon is lifted. Otherwise, these ships, these fishing vessels, have to stay here and wait for further notice.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have been preparing, you know, for months to for this particular day, for this very day. Yeah, Mother Nature is Mother Nature. She's yeah, so they have shots, to wait for another day. Can't go out today. Yeah, <laughs> and this is so sudden, actually.、Mm. Yeah, so this kind、okay. of decisions have to be made with last-minute information. So、mm -hmm. we were expecting to see the ships going out, but. Only a few are going out today, so few are going out. At least we can see some、uh, fishing vessels going out already. So probably that's a finding that's a, a better、sign. position、yeah. uh, in the area. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Xu. Very thank you. Okay. Okay. I was really want to sit down. Oh, okay, we can sit down、like、now. Sit down. Yeah.、Uh, It's really tiring, actually, and it was like to sit down a little bit. Okay. <laughs> well, actually, you're rocking back and、uh, forth, so your legs are doing a lot of work. Some quick questions for you. Tell me. Okay. So when it comes to the、uh, seafood consumption in China or something, so you know it is rich in protein. Uh huh. And do you know how much when it comes to the percentage of protein that we take in from seafood? That's a quick question. Is this I'm like, checking if you have done your homework yesterday. No, I was not asked to do this kind of homework. Uh, uh, no, you inform me, please.、Uh, that is around 14 to 17 percent. Protein comes from. Yeah. Wow. And in China, the largest consumer of seafood in the world, and that is around 650 million tons of seafood every year. Wow. Yeah. How much and is that? And actually, is... a great amount of the seafood that the Chinese people consume. Uh, a farm. Yeah, that's what yeah, I was talking about. Because coming from Guangdong,、uh, where where I live and I reside, we see a lot of、um, farming facilities for for seafood,、uh, the shrimps and、uh, and different kinds of、uh, fish and and seashells,、uh, uh -huh. shellfish. Sorry. So、yeah. that that we see quite a lot in Guangdong.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. And you came from Shenzhen. That's a coastal city. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed, yeah, and actually, in the first season, I don't know if our viewers、uh, have been following us from season one of Times of Change. And we went to Guangdong Province,、mm -hmm. and it was part of、uh, our trips actually. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. We went to Guangdong. We're from there, and this is the East Sea already. And of course,、uh, this is amazing view. And we were expecting some more fishing vessels leaving the docks, going out to the sea. This is the start of the second round of the fishing season already, and that is amazing. But it's so quiet because of the influence of typhoon. Otherwise, it could be a different scenario. And when we boarded the ship, and the, we have learned from the local authorities that the ships are not leaving today. <laughs> they probably would leave、uh, we, tomorrow or the day after. We did not、notice. have that piece of information, but we were inviting you to see the grandiose view of thousands of ships coming out to sea. But it is what it is. You got to、mm. follow nature, and if nature says. This is not the time to go. It is not the time to go.、Mm -hmm. What can we do about、okay. it? And that is amazing. And I think that's the end of this episode of our live stream on CGTN. A time of change. change. And thank you so much for staying with us. And remember to like, comment, share, and follow us for、yeah. more episodes of Tides of Change. Ah, yeah, of course, definitely. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for your time, like always. I know just the place where I can have the best view of the mountains.、Oh, fantastic! An ocean farmland with colorful abundance. The pilot has to board the ship while it's moving. The East China Sea, a dreamer's paradise.
let's discover the energetic and vibrancy of a modern Chinese. We learn from the wisdom of history. One can easily spot those houses made with big oyster shells. And work for a better life. When it gets dark, the fish turns yellow. Tides of Change Two: A Journey with Inspiring Stories.